This is an animal called a sea cucumber. It's related to urchins and uh, starfish. You can see on the, the left structure, which is protruding at the moment with the water coming over it, those are little tentacles which surround the mouth area. They're actually modified legs. They are filter feeders to a large extent. They'll feed on plankton and other small bits of detritus feed them through into a central cavity and then and utilize the food there. They have a cloaca right on the other side on the narrow section of this tube um, which they'll expel their waste from and they also breathe through the cloaca interestingly enough. They have an apparatus there with lots of little branchlets but like trachea and an invertebrate which allows them to to diffuse oxygen into the bloodstream which is pumped around the body by a whole lot of tiny little hearts that don't have a centralized heart but you can actually see all that um, sand and, and shell on it which is used for camouflage there's a few more here in this crevice you can see stacked on top of each other also very well camouflaged because they are sluggish they've got a few rows of legs on the on the bottom which they small legs which they use to move uh, around very slowly creep through the soil but that they are you know obviously susceptible to predation so camouflage is the best defense and then some of them can also release toxins by actually um, releasing parts of those tubules I spoke about earlier for the respiration into the water and um, it's quite sticky and and, and will deter predation, uh, predators so um, they found throughout the world's oceans very deep oceans right through to the just below the low water mark they like to stay covered most of the time um, they are edible uh, they're actually becoming a, a big food source in some areas and aquaculture and so on they've eaten eaten by many cultures and believed to be actually be quite quite healthy for you